Okay, this is a really a, a two-part video, but this is the first part. It's something I was uh, experimenting with um, to add a battery to one of these uh, dancing flower solar drivers to see if I could uh, power it during the night and then have the solar panel during the day add energy to the system. And it was uh, in relationship to that thing that's up there on the shelf spinning right there. And I, I was wondering uh, what was the easiest way to do that. And I decided just to try to hook up the battery directly to the solar panel and see what happened. Well, one and a half volts is way, way too much. It just uh, overdrives the system. You need to be down around half a volt. Uh, and so I just did this. I put a 30K, I put a pot in there and adjusted the potentiometer and found out it at about 30K with a one and a half volt AAA, uh, you can get the amp draw in the dark to down to about 40 microamps. And then during the day, the panel pumps energy into the system enough to lower the amp draw down to about 15 microamps. Now this isn't in direct sunlight. I've got it kind of uh, shaded here from the window. But uh, this this would get the job done. And I'm just calling this the super simple microamp device. And you just get a solar dancing flower at the dollar store. And you take most of the guts out of it and just use it as is. Or you could make a, uh, a fancy uh, spinner like that and just hook a double A or a triple A in there with a 30K resistor in series with the battery and there's your microamp device and if you shade the, uh, the panel here you can watch the amp draw go up if you see that or not in total darkness, this will go on up to 40 microamps, but it'll still keep running. And it would run uh, all the time, day and night. And uh, probably uh, at that amp draw, I'm thinking you could get at least a year out of this. And it would be kind of uh, interesting to just set one up on the shelf like that. Um, with a, a AAA or a AA battery and just watch it run for a year or so. Now this is the second part of the video is this thing right here and a gentleman that goes by the name of Simple Fix 2969 is involved in this project and he knows what he's doing and he's turned me on to these little uh, solar waivers. I'll give the link to them and they're very 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 efficient they're more efficient than these dancing flowers and he has taken uh, the circuit that's driving that and analyzed it and then modified it and he's got a solar motor a 10 to 50 microamp um, motor there's the circuit for it there's the date that he posted it and he goes by the handle of Simple Fix 2969. There's the circuit. And he has taken the uh, coil. It's a 740 ohm coil. And he's turned that coil into this uh, driver circuit for a um, four magnet rotor. And I'll give the link to that video. Now what I did is I just took the pendulum out of it and I'm just driving it uh, right here on the solar panel on a two, two um, magnet rotor which is like Theodore Polly and the other gentlemen have been doing and it works quite nicely there. Now if you take my idea here of just putting a AAA battery or a lithium battery in there with a whole lot of resistance on it this would do the same thing only better and that's what I'm thinking about right now is not having to build another circuit but just take the existing driver take the pendulum out of it and uh, setting it up um, like that with um, 
this setup here and then putting a, a one meg pot right in here and going ahead and uh, making the motor with that now this is the the thing running notice the panel is pointed away from the window completely these are very very efficient waivers and one of the reasons is they're using brass on steel and the way these things work is they roll they don't actually uh, run in a bearing they roll back and forth and that's a very very efficient way to get something to move if you just roll it like a wheel back and forth and um, I was testing this last night in very very low low room light and it was still moving anyway that's the latest on my little uh, uh, solar uh, pulse motors uh, microamp pulse motors uh, this is another thing that I'm testing right over here is this is a uh, a double A battery one that I've shown before and it's the one that I, I ran the six year numbers on to see if it would run six years on a double A battery and uh, there's a lot of controversy about whether it would actually go the six years or longer on a ten year shelf life double A and uh, here again all I did on this one is I just hooked a solar garden light cell onto it directly put it near a window and that's holding at 1.6 volts and it runs non-stop at a much faster speed than it was before um, I don't know if I'm going to overcharge that battery or not but I think the internal resistance of the battery will limit that but this is another way to get these things to run a long 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 time I decided to just hook a solar panel straight up to it no diode no nothing just hook it right on parallel with the battery and uh, you can get these things to go uh, a long, 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 long time. I don't know how many years, but I really appreciate the comments on that video, that six-year motor video. It really were great comments on uh, how to calculate these things and, and the mathematics of it and the whole bit I thought was rather interesting. But for this video right here, I'm just going to call this the simple microamp device. And these are some of the things that I'm working with to try to get something to run non-stop 24 hours a day day and night year after year after year thanks for watching